It's a breakfast club, bitches. Who's donkey of the day today? Well, donkey of the day for Friday, July 1st goes to a man named Lawrence Martin. I don't know where Lawrence Martin is from, but he was traveling on a Southwest Airlines flight from Detroit to Denver. Oh, good old Southwest. I know the name of that airline sounds like the name of one of Kim and Kanye's kids, but it's not. It is an airline along with spirit that I refuse to travel. Simply because my experiences with both airlines have not been pleasant. Now, I haven't flown Southwest in a long time, so maybe things have changed. But back in my day, okay, a little over a decade ago, I flew Southwest Airlines once and realized they weren't for me. Okay, simply because I need assigned seating. All right, I don't know who at Southwest Airlines came up with the bright idea of open seating, but I do not recommend. Okay, I don't know if they still do this, but once you get on board, you choose any available seat. No, no, no. Okay, it's giving, it's giving musical chairs, and I don't got time for that. All right, when it comes to flights, humans... Us homo sapiens need all the organization we can get, okay? We need direction, okay? You can't just put us somewhere and say, figure it out, okay? Getting a seat on a Southwest Airlines flight in 2022, I can only imagine, feels on a lot of levels like a squid game challenge, all right? You can't just put us on a flight and say, every man, woman, and they for themselves, okay? That was my experience. If things have changed, God bless, but Southwest is not my cup of tequila. Now, this guy, Lawrence Martin, decided either A, Southwest Airlines doesn't have enough in-flight entertainment, or B, he doesn't approve of Southwest Airlines snack selection, so he decided to show the plane what they should eat. Okay, because this man, Lawrence Martin, this past Saturday while traveling on a flight from Detroit to Denver, from D to D, decided to share his D with the plane. What do you mean, Uncle Sharla? He decided to share his D with the plane. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, that D. That diddly, that dangalang, that dinkle, that dipstick, that dog bone, that Donkey Kong, depending on the size. This man, Lawrence Martin, airdropped a photo of his penis to every possible device on the plane. You can't make this kind of stuff up, okay? Lawrence Martin sent a picture of him receiving some sloppy toppy, okay, a BJ fellatio, and it was sent in the middle of the flight to anyone with an Apple device in range, and yes, that included children, two of which were sitting directly behind him. Now, what is the protocol when a penis is airdropped to passengers on a flight? Well, flight attendants were quickly alerted by a woman who received and accepted the airdrop request. First of all, I don't accept anyone's airdrop request if I don't know them. Okay, I don't know why my phone even has that setting to receive everyone's airdrops, but I've definitely been out and received one of those notifications, and I hit deny. If I don't know you, I'm not accepting your damn airdrop, okay? And and if you don't know me, why would you be airdropping me something? See, the problem with some of y'all, you spent your whole life. You need to listen to your Uncle Charlotte for a second. Y'all spent your whole life understanding you shouldn't talk to strangers. But now as adults, all you do is practice the bad habit of talking to strangers because of these damn smartphones. No, stranger danger exists on all these social media platforms and in the form of airdrops, and I don't want no parts, okay? Stranger danger, stranger danger. Now, the woman who first dropped the dime on Lawrence said she was seated near him, okay, saw his iPad had airdrop open and knew it was him immediately. When confronted by a flight attendant, Lawrence apologized and said he was just having a little fun. First of all, in regards to one's penis, don't ever refer to anything having to do with your penis as a little fun, okay? We over here having big fun, like Vanessa Huxtable and her friends did when they went to go see the wretched. Okay, all the young OGs get that reference immediately for you kids. Season six, episode 22, Cosby Show. Thank me later. Lawrence, your idea of fun is to let your little hairy canary, your little love muscle, your little pink cigar just be airdropped to random people on the plane. Now, when I was growing up in the 1900s, we had something uh, we called the black eye witness. And the black eye witness was the guy or gal you would see on the news who witnessed said crimes in the hood. And for whatever reason, news stations would always find the black eye witness to detail what they saw. And they were hilarious as hell. Well, in these here 2000s, the white eye witness uh, has taken the black eye witness's spot. And they don't have news stations and news crews running up on them. They have uh, white eye witnesses with TikToks and Instagrams. And there was a woman on this flight whose name is Daddy Strange 333. 
and she received Lawrence's pisser in the form of, air, of an airdrop, and she discussed it. Let's listen. So I'm talking to this guy, we're just making friends, whatever, and I say to him, oh my God, I just got an airdrop. Should I open it? And he's like, no, dumbass. And I was like, oh, now I'm super curious. And it said from Larry's iPad. And as I'm talking to him, I was like, I shouldn't do this, but I'm so curious. I see that the guy next to him, so across the aisle, has his iPad open with all of his, like, it has, like, airdrop on there. Like, he was selecting airdrop people. And I was like, no way, I think it's this guy. And he was like, no way. And so I accept it. And there it was. It was a picture of, like, a woman's face giving Larry head and, like, a little bit, little bit of pee pee at the bottom. You know, whatever. And so I was like, what the f And I look over and I said, are you Larry? And he said, yes, I am. I was like did you mean to send me this? And he said, yes, I did. And I said, are you sending it to everybody? And he said, yes, I am. There's a, like a child, like seven-ish maybe right behind him and a teenager right behind him. And he knows this. And I was like, Larry, get your shit together. Stop. And then he said, oh, I'm sorry. And I switched his screens. And he tries to go say, it says explicit content, not allowed. And I was like, Larry. <sighs> Once again, why are y'all accepting airdrops from people y'all don't know? We really have forgotten everything we learned in kindergarten. Two things we need to bring back that we learned in kindergarten. Number one, do unto others as they, they have done unto you, the golden rule. Okay, please remember the golden rule. And number two, don't talk to strangers. All right, let's get it. Come on. Hey, they, they send you an airdrop. They give you the option to accept the decline. You don't have to open it. But I'm not victim blaming here. I'm just trying to give you some game on how to avoid that in the future. Now, when the plane finally landed, Lawrence was escorted off the plane by the FBI and brought in for questioning. And there's only one question that needs to be asked, and that is why. Well, he already answered it because he wanted to have a little fun. Well, let's see how much fun being registered as a sex offender for the rest of your life is. Let's see if you airdrop that danger registered sex offender sign lives here to random people. Some donkey of the days just sell themselves. Uh, please let Remy Ma give Lawrence Martin the biggest hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw, you stupid mother are you dumb. All right, now let's get to it. Mm -hmm. It's Friday, so you know what that means. <sighs> All right. It's Freaky, it's freaky, 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 freaky Friday. Friday. Hey. Why did you now, take a deep breath, Rashawn? The Freaky, Freaky, Freaky Friday question is, some, about, as somebody airdropped you. Huh? What? What's the question? I know what the question is. I want to hear you say it. What is it? Has somebody airdropped you a picture of their penis? Now, when I, uh, when I said it was about to be Freaky Friday, you sighed. And the reason you sighed is because you know that we want to ask this question. So I would like to ask you first and foremost, DJ NB, Rashawn Casey, has someone ever airdropped you a picture of their penis? The floor is yours. Now, I never told nobody this. <laughs> so how do I know? <laughs> you liar. I, I mean, I told you behind the scenes, but yes, <laughs> yes, somebody has. It was actually uh, two weeks ago. A friend? You said it was a friend. No, I did not say it was a friend. Yes, I said I was. Did. No, You're I did a liar. not. I yes, said I was flying did. back from Houston. This was my car show in Houston. On so Southwest. it was. No, it was not Southwest. It was actually Delta, and it was a lot of my peoples, you know, on the flight. You know, my manager June, my assistant Mercedes, my wife. There was so many of us on the plane. My daughter was on the plane. There was so many of us. Now, my iPhone is not my name. It's, you know, it's like, I mean, I could say it. It's, say no, what it is. is. You said it. It's, all right. It's, you know what? No, when dad, we come back, dad, how about when we come back? All right. Huh? I'll tell huh? the story when we come back. But the question is 800-585-1051. Has somebody ever airdropped you a penis pic? Call us now. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey today is brought to you by the law office of Michael S. Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull if you've been hurt in a construction accident. That's pound 250 from your cell and say the bull.